What do you get if you combine the Adidas Predator Freak, the X Ghosted, and the Copa Sets? This. And today I'm gonna tell you why you should totally buy it, and maybe also why you shouldn't buy it. For the Pred Cop X, Adidas have combined the best of all their boots in what should be, on paper at least, the closest thing to a perfect boot. Actually, they've done it before, a few times, with the so-called SL or Crazy Light boots, where they've taken the super light outsoles from the F50 Adi Zero boots and slapped underneath the uppers from the Predator, the 11 Pros, the Adi Pures, or the Nitro Chargers, to create boots that have actually, by and large, worked really, really well with the light outsole and the OG uppers. But those were two elements from two silos. And to my knowledge, this is the first time that Adidas have combined elements from three silos in one boot. Of course, there was the Predator Archive, which had, I think, 10 boots in one. That also means that if you know that feeling of struggling to decide between the Demon Skin Rubber Spikes on the Predator, the Carbotex tooling on the X, or the Soft Leather Forefoot on the Copa Sense, well, that problem has kind of gone away because with the Pred Cob X, you kind of get all those elements Frankensteined into one boot. Demon Skin Rubber Spikes, Super Soft Leather Forefoot, and the Carbitex Tooling. Now, this also means that, in other words, you get all the three best elements Adidas have to offer at the moment in a package that has not only improved on some of the original elements, but also weighs only 221 grams, which is definitely acceptable. And on paper, this should probably be the biggest no-brainer buy you can make this year. Because the Pred Cob X is good. In fact, it's really, really, really good. And one of the reasons is mainly the leather forefoot, which I don't know what they've done to it, but it's so stupidly soft that I think it can basically be up there among the best leather executions Adidas have ever done. In other words, it also means that it's a lot better than the normal Copa Sense Point One, and why they haven't gone with this leather execution on the normal boot is... I, I don't really understand that, because this is very good. And there's also the heel parts, which are not coated with this matte, slightly hard plastic coating that they normally use, which means that they're a lot softer, and actually comfortable, unlike those on the Copa Sense Point One. So it just fits well. But on top of that, you get that really responsive and aggressive speed boot like feeling from the Carbitex tooling on the X. And then, of course, you get that serious amount of hardcore grip from the Demon Skin Rubber Spikes that we see on the Predators. And it's one of those technological gimmicks that actually work where they feel like it can make a difference on the ball if you know how to use it right. And for the real Predator fans out there, having SL rubber fins on a leather forefoot sounds like Christmas coming early. But of course, not even Christmas is perfect. And the same goes for the Pred Cob X, where there are a few nickels. The first one for me is that raised toe box that you naturally get from the X Ghost tooling, which if you're used to the Predator and the Copa, can be a little bit weird because they're low and pointy and it took me a little bit of time to adjust and get used to that. The other thing is the size range, which is limited, which sucks if you have small feet. And finally, there's the colorway. Now, I know that this is a Frankenstein boot and it's supposed to look a little bit crazy. And I realize that the pink is from the Euro Ball and the Super Spectral boots, and that the light green and the blue on the tooling also might be a reference to Uniforia and the Euros. And sure, it's a mashup, but I just think it looks random and a little bit messy. And personally, I'm not a fan. But if you either A, want the best of everything Adidas can offer, or B, just get wet dreams from having a low-cut leather Predator with laces, then you should probably live with the looks and the colorway and just go get a really good boot 
experience. And if you can live with the colorway and you want to try the Pratt Cobb X, you can buy it from unisportstore.com via the link right over there. But not, of course, before you subscribe to the channel with the notifications on. And if you come back and want to watch more videos, you can check out the playlist right down there and learn how to improve as a footballer. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.